Hey tech heads, welcome to Mobile Quickie. I'm Dennis here in Amsterdam. and today's video, we're gonna be talking about login with Amazon and integrating that with Cognito Identity Pool so that your users can get temporary credentials to access your resources on AWS. Let's get started. All right, so we're doing login with Amazon and I provided a link to the blog. So we'll follow the blog throughout this process. So we'll go ahead and launch the, the blog and follow along. So in the blog, we're gonna start with creating a Amazon project, a developer project, and we're gonna configure a security profile. So click on the link to log into the developer profile and log in with your Amazon account and click on login with Amazon console, create a new security profile and then provide a demo profile uh, that I put in there and um, security, privacy notice, and hit save. And this is very important because we're gonna use this a little bit later and choose the cog wheel and choose iOS settings for that profile. And this is where you can just put in a, a name to identify that key. And then in the bundle ID, you want again, put the reverse uh, bundle ID that you have in your Xcode project. And this is important because it'll tie into the security. So only this project will be able to uh, be used by that bundle ID. So now we're creating this iOS key that's associated with our security profile, generate new key. And we're gonna have this massive key, go ahead and show it. And then we want to copy and paste this API key. So select all, right click if you need to, and copy this API key. And that's it, we'll use that in a second. Moving on to the next. Okay, now we're going to just clone an app that we've already created that sets you up as a base demo for using login with Amazon. So back to prepare iOS app, we're gonna clone this application from the repo. So go into terminal and clone this starter app. CD login with Amazon. And then let's open up the project in Xcode. And you can start with your own app and follow along with the blog. I go through some details about how, how to set it up, but I've already got this configured for the SDK for Amazon and I wanted to make sure we have a good starter app. Okay, so now we'll scroll through and follow along, you'll see the area where we're going to add the API key. We have an empty API key in our project already, and we're gonna go back to the developer and copy this out if you haven't saved it already. And then we're gonna paste it into that API key that lo is located in the info P list. You see that here, API key, go ahead and select that all and paste that API key into there just like that and save it. All right, now let's go back to the blog. And the last piece, we wanna update the URL scheme for the info P list. And this tells us to launch the Amazon login with Amazon SDK. And so we're gonna go into launch the URL types and then the identifier, you wanna make sure that matches the identifier that we put in our iOS key in the developer profi profile. So I'm gonna do com mobile quickie um, auth demo and then the URL scheme, this is really important. You wanna pre, um, preset that with AMZN dash and then the um, identifier. So it's really important to do it um, or else it won't work. So save that out. And then you'll see that the bundle identifier matches what I put in the Xcode project. Okay, moving on to the next one. Here's part three. This is the important part where we need an Amazon app ID later for Amplify to cloud enable this. But first we go back to the developer profile and I'll show you how to do that. So you wanna select the profile we had before, select a security profile, and then the security profile ID is your Amazon app ID. Copy that and then save it for later because we're gonna use that when we cloud enable our app with the Amplify CLI. So that's really important. Now let's move on to the CLI. Now we're gonna use Amplify CLI to cloud enable our app so we can get those credentials going. So if you haven't installed the CLI before, follow the instructions for the NPM install and configure. I went ahead and did that already. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this through Amplify init. So we're gonna go back to our project in the terminal, in the root of the project, and we're gonna do Amplify init. And this is gonna allow us to set up a project and get it ready. So I'm gonna just default through the, 
you can create a, your own project name and your own profile, whatever it might be. Uh, it doesn't really matter for, for the demo purposes. Make sure it selects iOS. And then profile is the credentials you're gonna to use to enable these features. And then let it run for a few minutes. And then the next one we're gonna do is run a Amplify Add Auth. So we're gonna add authentication to this app. And that's where we're gonna use that Amazon uh, login app ID. So Amplify Add Auth. And then we're not gonna choose the default. We're gonna say, no, I wanna set up my own configuration and then choose the first default, say, yep, sign up and sign in, give it a friendly name if you want. And then uh, again, you can name the identity pool and say, yes, I want to allow unauthenticated for this reason, you could say no. Choose Amazon, hit the space bar, and then now it'll ask you for that Amazon app ID. Remember, that's the profile, security profile ID, same thing. We're gonna copy it out and we're gonna paste it into the CLI to uh, complete the configuration. Say okay. And then again, you could provide another name for your user pool and ask you for these defaults. So I'm gonna enter through all the defaults are just fine. And no 30 days and say, okay. And this runs through. Now the last thing you wanna do is amplify push. And this will take that template we just built and actually launch it into the cloud and build a cloud formation stack for us to enable these and provision these services. So that's it. Let's move on to the client. Okay. Now we're done with the back end. We're going to move to the client and we're going to add the AWS SDK using Cocoa Pods. So back to the blog. First thing we want to do is do a pod init. So copy that. And then we're going to go back to our project and type in uh, pod. I'm going to clear the screen. We're going to do pod init. And this creates a pod file for us so that we're going to paste in those dependencies for the AWS mobile client and other things to allow us to log in. So here we have the empty pod file. We're gonna go back to the blog and see here I have two dependency blog files or blo um, dependency that you're gonna copy out. So we'll copy and paste these back into that pod file. And there's just two of them. And again, this is the mobile client and uh, user pools, which is doing the delegation for that login for Amazon. Save that out and then copy and paste this. We're gonna do a pod install dash dash repo update that gets our all the dependencies loaded up clones everything and builds out that sdk for us so we'll run through that and it should just take a minute or so i want to speed this up a little bit And again, it's building out the core files, the clients, the cores that are required by a mobile client for Cognito, and that is it. So now let's open up the project with the uh, workspace instead of the project from now on as we're using CocoaPods. So that's it. Let's go and implement this and see how it looks. Remember I was talking about the CLI cloud enabling our app. When we put all that information in, it also built a AWS configuration.json file that gives us the endpoints to the user pools and other details. So what we're gonna do is add that configuration file to our Xcode project. So in here, you'll see the instructions there, but let's just launch Xcode and then pull in the root folder, um, auth LWA, and then we're gonna right click and do add file. So add files to LWA, and then we're gonna choose the AWS configuration.json file and hit add. And I'll show you what that looks like here. And that just shows our endpoints and defaults and regions. All right, let's move on to the AWS mobile client implementation. Now we're into the code. We're gonna apply some changes to our uh, UI view controller, which is the main controller. And I put some code in the, um, in the blog that links and we can kind of cut and paste and then see what it looks like. And I'll walk through a little bit of that right now. So back to the blog, you'll see a code snippet. Go ahead and copy that entire code snippet and we're going to replace, just copy and paste over our main view controller in the project. So copy that out. And then in the view controller, just select all and paste. So in here, what we've done is added a button that is gonna allow us to log in and log out with the login with Amazon. And then also the initialize uh, mobile client is creating that state. That's what the mobile client does is um, allows us to monitor the state of the app, logged in, logged out, and takes those credentials those keys and, and secret, all that, and takes it and gives us 
the authenticated piece from login with Amazon to AWS. So now let's run the application and demo the app. Let's go ahead and build and run the app in a simulator. Hopefully it'll compile for everybody if we have everything set up just right. And then we'll launch a simulator and it should show us a login with Amazon button. Select that button as a user. And again, this goes in and uses the login with Amazon SDK and the users of your device, of your app, will log in with their credentials. And then if successful, they'll come back and they'll come back with a, a bundle that will allow the AWS mobile client to turn those into authenticated tokens and allow those users to make calls to AWS. So I'm gonna say allow and you'll see that information in there. And then in here, here is that token information, success, and then it provides that token information. So that's where the mobile client kicks in and does all the work for us. Congrats, you just built Login with Amazon. If you like what I'm doing, don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified when we drop a new mobile quickie. Thanks for watching.